welcome to Mariah's Beauty Corner. In today's video, I'll be doing a review of the V Lux line of lashes by I Envy, and I'll also be doing a tutorial on this beautiful red and orange eye look. I'm blending Realgar into my crease using the dual sided brush that came with the palette. I'm using the LA Colors Contour Stick in Light to prime my eyelid. On a small detailer brush, I am combining Love Letter in Venetian Red and applying it over that primer. Now I'm using the fluffy side of the brush to blend those shadows together. On a wet and wild fluffy crease brush, I'm highlighting my brow bone with a mixture of tempura and golden okra. I'm blending my crease and highlight shades together using my Babillion Crease Brush from the Cute app. For my winged liner, I'm using the LA Colors Liquid Liner in black. I'm applying a few coats of the Aziza Lengthening Mascara to prep for falsies. I'm applying the V Lux Lashes by Eye Envy in the style Malia, and I'll also be using the Super Stronghold Eyelash Adhesive by Eye Envy as well. On a flat liner brush, I'm running Love Letter in Venetian Red along my lower lash line. Using the smudger side of the dual sided ABH brush, I am blending out those two shadows with Realgar. Now I'm applying the Aziza Lengthening Mascara to my bottom lashes. I'm lining my waterline with the Ruby Kisses Ultra Easy Eyeliner in Intense Black. I'm using a concealer brush to highlight the inner corner of my eye with the LA Girl Strobe Light in 20 Watt. I'm using the Amuse Beauty Blush in the shade 3 Red on the ELF Essential Line Blush Brush. I'm highlighting my cheekbones with that same LA Girl Strobe Light in the shade 20 Watt using a AOA Studio F19 Highlighting Brush. I'm applying the Nika K Lip Shine Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sunset. Sunset wasn't really doing it for me, so I'm going over top of that with another Lip Shine Liquid Lipstick, this time in the shade Too Hot. To finish off the look and keep my makeup looking fresh all day, I am setting using the Ruby Kisses Never Touch Up Matte Finish Setting Spray. I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial, loves. Um, I've, I am absolutely in love with my modern Renaissance palette, and I know you loves are probably getting a little tired of the repetitive orange and red tones. But I do have a new palette that I will be doing a video on for you, loves, next week. So stay on the lookout for that. But let's get into why we're here. These marvelous lashes, honey. I love these lashes. All right, I'm just gonna give you a quick little rundown. This is what the packaging looks like. These are the I the I Envy by Kiss V Lux Lashes. I got them in the style Malaya or Malia. And this one pair of lashes was $6 from the beauty supply store. Uh, $6 in my opinion is a little much for a drugstore uh, pair of lashes. But I totally think these are worth it. They have a thin flexible band which I prefer. A lot of people don't like the, the little clear flexible band. I love those. That's what I started with in the first place. So that's what I'm accustomed to. So I love the lash band. I also love how long and wispy they are. I will include a picture right over here of what they look like in the package. This is what they look like. On, and they are reusable if you take good care of them since they do have a thinner band you have to be really careful when it comes to removing the glue and another thing I love about these lashes is that they come with a uh, they come with a little container they have their own little container super cute this is what the back looks like it has Lux on the back and you just slide it open Fancy, huh? For $6, it better be. <laughs> so I really like that. And I also like that it comes with the name on it so you can remember what style you're wearing. 
It says that they are made with 100% virgin Remy hair and they have a tapered in. So it's supposed to give a more wispy hair-like appearance um, resulting in fuller, thicker looking lashes. And these are definitely full and thick. I absolutely love these lashes. They had a ton, a ton of different styles, but these are the ones that stuck out to me because they reminded me of a denser version of the Salon Perfect 614 Glam Lashes that I'm absolutely in love with. So that's why I went ahead and picked these up. But there were a few other styles that I might go back and get. But I definitely love the style Malia. I'm going to say Malia. Really, really pretty. Um, if I can find a link, I will link the lashes down below in the description box along with all of the other products that I used for this look. I hope you loves enjoyed this video. Drop a comment down below telling me what you thought. And until next time, bye!